Today we are focusing on the kiddos going back to school. Look at this guy. He is He's so excited. <laughs> One time he'll be that happy. Is that your boy? <laughs> no, no. Oh. That's not my guy. Uh, the funny thing is sometimes the kids are more excited about it than the parents. Do you want to go to school this year? Because there's no problem if you don't. You can wait five or six years. Come on, Dad. It's time for school. <laughs> That's right. And the kids, you know, it's sometimes it Did is hard like for the parents. Did you like going to school? I love oh, going to school. I hated it. I hated, I hated every second. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. I was excited to go to school. I'm the only one. <laughs> so this Four year, legs. okay, so today was the first day of kindergarten for my son Basil. He's my uh -oh. oldest. So today was a big day, and I actually did a little confessional last night. So we're going to roll that tape. So tomorrow's the big day. My oldest son Basil is starting kindergarten. And he's already six, so he really should have started last year. He's right on the cusp of the year. But um, I wanted to hold him back. My husband was dying of cancer at the time last year when we made the decision, and I think it was a smart decision. He's a boy, so he needed a little bit more maturity, and he's, he's sensitive. And um, there was a lot going on last year at this time. So I think he's ready now. He's gotten some maturity over the year. And I'm, I'm sad, I'm sad because these boys were everything to my husband. And it's, um, this would have been a highlight in Stephen's life to see Basil walking into that school on his first day of kindergarten. And I know that there's gonna be a little piece missing tomorrow without daddy being there. And, but if there's one thing that I've learned in the last year is that we all need to keep moving forward. And that's what we're gonna do. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, we're sorry. Wow. We're sorry that you're hurting. We're sorry that you. It that was Stephen Camp. It was there. a really, it was a really hard day, and and what made it worse this morning was that Basil was literally the only kid crying, <laughs> and um, every kid was sitting there like happy on the bench at kindergarten, and Basil is literally like attached to me, crying, How did you comfort him? Sobbing. How did you comfort him? I just told he's like, I'm scared of these other kids. I'm scared, I'm scared. And I said, Basil, and he's been in daycare for the last two years. I said, Basil, it's gonna be okay. It's just new kids. They're all friendly. Look at them, they're all happy. You know, I mean I was, you know, didn't show any sense of fear, anything like that. I was strong mommy. Yeah. And you um, told me, Tara, you said I didn't cry until I got in the car. Exactly. And then I bawled. <laughs> um, but no, but it's it's good. And I know yeah. when I pick him up today, he's gonna say, Mommy, I had so much fun today. And, and I'm whatever. Sure you can't but, wait to hear that. Yes, yeah. yes. And actually the school called and said He's smiling ear to ear. He's in his classroom. He's fine about 15 minutes after I dropped Ooh, him off. Oh, I love that, that the school would do that. Yes, it's a mommy comfort. Did. Okay.